from Paco's Tacos, the stuff inside. Hey, and the stuff inside this week, let me tell you something that happened to me. I was over, I'll let you say, on the coast somewhere, at a mall where I really don't like to be. And, uh, you know, I had some bad Mexican food that was kind of getting to me, so I had to use the restroom. And I'm going to the restroom, and hey, Paco got lucky because it was so early, there was nobody in there. So the bathrooms were nice and clean, and I'm sitting down, and I'm getting ready to just, I'm sitting there, you know, and I'm just like reading the walls and the little scratches, or Jenny loves Chachi, or whatever they scratch on the wall. And I just want to tell you, why is it that people, when they walk into the restroom, they don't look underneath to see where the feet is, and they go and they sit right next to you in the stall. Now, when you're just about to go, and you're feeling that pressure, and it's getting ready, and you're trying to drop it, and then somebody sits down next to you, what do you think it does? Goes back up. And then I can't go. Paco can't go to the bathroom, dude. And this guy that's sitting right next to me, obviously he's not shy, because it sounded like the waterfalls over there at Yosemite, man. It was like, rah, rah, and it's just going down, and I'm like, oh my God, how, how, can I, how can I do this? And you know what? This guy, he's making sounds. It sounded like a grizzly bear was attacking like a box of Twinkies, dude. He was like, ah, I can't relax. I can't relax. So now what I got right here that was about to go that way is going back this way because this guy's going, ah, and he's all screaming and yelling. Why is that? There is 10 stalls, and he decides to pick the one right next to me. Like he can't see these size 11s underneath the stall. Dude, come on. I'm like, fine, whatever. So finally, he gets out of there and he goes and washes his hand. Oh, but he like washes his hand for like five minutes because by then I got to like flush. You know what I'm talking about? You flush to make all the noise and then you go to the bathroom. So I'm like, wah, and it just like goes, right? And to verge off of this just a little bit because just something I got to talk about is those bathrooms with the, with the little sensor. So you're going to the bathroom, but the sensor only picks up when you stand up, right? So when you stand up, the sensor goes up and then it flushes, right? Okay, but I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Now I'm not standing up. So what's happening? It's just feeling. It's just feeling about the stuff. So I gotta go like this to try to get it to flush or go like that with my hand. That's stupid. That's the stupidest invention I've ever seen. But anyways, and I get done and I'm, I'm getting up and I go and pick up my stuff and I walk out. And there's a little Chinese guy about like this tall. He's like about four foot nine, Mr. Miyagi Yoda looking little guy. And he looks up to me. And he's got headphones on. Well, he's got headphones on. He can't hear the noise he's making. But I hear all the noise he's making, right? And I go wash my hands. And I look at him. I'm like, dude, did you feel okay? And he's like, eh. He can't even understand me. I, you know, it makes Paco just want to pick up this little Chinese guy and stuff him into the little toilet. And then hit the sensor so he goes and flushes that. So all I'm saying is this. If you're going into the restroom, look for these big patas underneath there. And go to the one next to it. Could you do it at the movie theater? Because you don't want anybody to think you're gay or something. You don't want to sit right next to your friend. So you skip over to the next one and leave the seat in the middle, right? Do the same thing with the bathroom and let people have their privacy. Let people be able to relax because that's why they're in there. Remember, rest room. Orale! This is Paco for Paco's Tacos. Stay low.